Oh. Day. Yeah, it, it, it was. I mean, it was like they had no life of their own. They, 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 their life evolved on just harassing me and my family. That's what their lives evolved around. And that's what most they, of them evolved around. Yeah, and so they went ahead and uh, after they, they had set the kids out to harass us one weekend, something horrible, they were, their kids got arrested. This is when the, uh, this is actually when the, um, the corruption started taking hold that we started realizing, you know, I don't know, the judge may have signed the order to begin with because of corruption, because he, the order should never have been signed, but once it was brought to his attention, then that's when he probably thought he'd better go ahead and, and reverse the order. He did reverse the order. You know what I mean? That, that worked out in your that. favor. You were lucky with that because that really doesn't happen too often. Yeah, that, that's very unusual. Matter of fact, there are people here in Florida that have been falsely baker acted and sent to an institution through no fault of their own. You know what I mean? And that is really pathetic. I, I did a lot of research on the Baker Act, and I even pulled up articles on it. And, yes, it is, it is a really um, problem problematic here in Florida. And yeah, and I've interviewed people from Florida, and they've, they've, they've talked about the Baker Act and yeah. these problems. So I know it's happening, and many victims are placed into institutions or driven into institutions deliberately because it is a form of harassment, and it's a way to discredit you. Once they take your mental stability, they figure there's nothing left. If you get a reputation for being mentally ill, who's going to want to be near you? Who's going to want to hire you? Uh, your friends and family will leave you. This is what these people are hoping for. This is what they live that's for. That's it is pathetic. I agree with you. It's so pathetic. It but is. Why don't you continue on and let's tell the audience okay. a little bit more about your harassment well, after then, that point. Okay. Then after the after the their children got arrested for calling our house, leaving out some messages on our answering machine, they um that they were arrested for that. Um, but unfortunately, through somehow between. That time and when it's supposed to go to the state attorney's office, they were able to get the officer to um, to corrupt the the order or the the arrest order. Whatever what happened is he arrested them, but and he he put them um, back in the custody of their parents. But they um, the officer um, did not return the turn the report into the state attorney's office for the three months speedy trial to be up and after that there was nothing that could be done. Even though there was a, a tape of you know, we had the tape with all the um, with their names and their, their cuss were you know, the, all the cussing and stuff they were doing on on the phone and everything. And uh, we had all the proof and everything, but they just didn't you know, the the officer refused to turn it over to the state attorney's office. So I don't know whatever happened between I guess they they were able to get the officer involved at um, basically harassing us too to that point in that at that point and so after the children were arrested and this is before we knew about the the or the arrest report didn't turn go into the state attorney's office the uh, neighbors tried filing a second Baker Act on me and uh, the only reason why I knew about that one was my own suspicion because um, I was you know when you see the neighbors taken off one after the other and you've been through what we've been through, you almost know that they're up to something else. So knowing that they were up to something else, a feeling in my heart that they were definitely up to something else, I went down after the next day after they did this, this is like around 5 o'clock at night, and I went down to the courthouse the next day to find out, inquire if they were trying to file another Baker Act. I didn't know if they were trying to file one on me, my husband, or what was going on. So it turned out that they did. They tried to find another Baker Act on me, but luckily the judge reversed that order because he saw the letter I would written to the first judge. I had wrote a letter to the first judge, and um, and so he saw that letter, and so he reversed the order. The second so, order was reversed, too. Yeah, the second order was reversed. <clears throat> well, you're but, doubly blessed because that's very rare. Yes, I mean, it is, really. I, I, I'm thankful to God. To God... I always had God in my heart all the time, you know, because I always, you know, we always um, believed in God. I mean, maybe we never lived exactly the way we should all the time and stuff, but I've always been a strong believer in God. So I, as far as I'm concerned, you know, God really helped us through situations. The only thing that was really bad about it was when the neighbor's plans fell through, like they, you know, if it didn't go through the way they wanted it to, Oh, my God, they were out to get us, like, big time. Well, it frustrates them. It makes them very angry when plans fall through. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you'd think we, we were looked at like we were just, um, they, they looked at us in such evil ways. It's unreal. I mean, just, and, and you know, they even kind of threatened us with guns, you know, like going down the street, you know, pretending like they were going to use the gun on us or something, you know, and different things like that, you know. It's just that we had to overlook that, you know, and stuff like that. And actually, kind of stayed in the house during that particular episode. <laughs> Oh, I don't blame you, but, but they are capable of extreme violence. These oh, people, yeah. they'll kill, they'll kill, they don't care. They're very, very sick to me. That's right. a very sick, you know, person. What happened after the second order was reversed? What, can, well, what happened? What else well, was your family in the harassment? Because the children were arrested, they went ahead and they... They filed the second Baker Act on me. They tried to, or they signed the second petition at the courthouse. Uh, they went ahead and um, they they tried to damage my daycare. They were calling HRS, and and at that time when they called HRS, though the officer that had arrested the kids, he wasn't involved in their harassment yet. You know what I mean? So when he heard it over his police radio, he turned the car around and came back to our house and told the HRS officer that. None of it was true that we were just being harassed. I was really surprised that the officer turned on us like he did. I mean, it, it seemed like a lot of people were turning on us during that time. You know what I mean? Well, that's, but, that's typical, too. That's another typical tactic. They get people to turn against you. You know, they speak think, to them or they talk, to, you know, they show them pictures or they send them notes. They do whatever they can do to turn people against you so you won't get support. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I think the officer was already corrupt in himself, you know, because, I don't know, just certain things. He would say kind of sexual things to me a couple of times or something like that, and I, and I kind of brushed him off because I didn't feel, you know, that I'm married and stuff, and I don't I do not do that. I don't go, I don't cheat on my husband or anything like that. And um, Was he, like, trying to get you into some type of sexual uh, relationship with I him? Was, I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. I, I just know that he's made a couple of comments, and I made sure I put him in his place, you know what I mean? It's to that extent. You know what I mean? But not in a not in a rude way. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I wasn't rude to him or anything like that. I just made sure he knew that I was married and and um, that we were happily married. You know what I mean? So that, was good for, that was good for you again. You you know you put you handled this brilliantly. You know a lot of people have a hard time handling these stalkers. It sounds like you're doing very well. Well, I wish I wish I could say I wish I could feel the same way that you think I handled it because it was it was real difficult. I mean, I appreciate you saying that and everything. Uh, we did we did ignore them the best we could, you know, and stuff like that. Of course, you know, you, ha you you always have that tendency to look their way because you don't know what they're gonna do. You know what I mean? So you have to kind of keep an eye out, make sure that they're not going to do something worse than what they already are doing. You know what I mean? So after they had um, filed, um, you know, tried to destroy my daycare, they had called HRS numerous times. They called child care licensing numerous times. Uh, licensing, my licensing worker finally told them, don't call us and we'll call HRS. You know what I mean? So because my licensing worker knew that I don't abuse children. Well, what happened is they told, they didn't say that I was abusing the children. See, they, they said that teenagers in the home, that was because I had a, I had a daughter that was 15 and a son that was 12. So they were saying teenagers in the home were abusing the children. They were trying to get your children involved. Y yeah, yeah. So they were saying they were trying to get my kids involved because their children got arrested. See? The, you, know, you could see like you could see a correlation there. You know what I mean? I'm sure they were trying to get even. Right. And, um, but boy, they really, really put us through some hell, on, if you don't mind me saying that. Mm -hmm. But uh, through quite a bit after that, too, as well. They went ahead and um, they, they devised another plan. And the other plan they devised was to, to accuse my son of choking their 12-year-old daughter. And um, so, and I'll tell you what their plan was once I tell you this. But they had, my son... Our, our two children went to their kids' schools. Um, our son went to the middle school that their daughter went to, and our daughter went to the elementary school. Our youngest daughter went to the elementary school. And so they went ahead, and um, one day they got off the bus, and this is after all this other stuff. They were devising another plan on, on attack, and they were attacking our kids this time and because their kids were arrested. 
But anyway, so they went ahead and uh, they said that our son tried to choke their daughter and she had no marks on her.